Okay, I'll try and show you about the snap functions in Samptitude. At the moment, if I move the range, obviously you can see it's not snapping. So the best way to set this up, which is what I do now, is to press I on the keyboard and you get the project options coming up. And where it says snap to grid, you click there and make sure you've got grids and bars selected and then go to this menu here and select bars and beats and you've got this list here which is the um, the sort of increments of snapping so you've got a full bar, half bar, quarter, eighth so you can set that depending on what you want so for this we'll set it to a full bar so they're the settings you need to make click OK so now in the um, arrange we've got bars and beats so there you go we've got snapping now to every bar that's the um, way it's set you can also um, if you put your mouse just here and then right click you can also get the same thing get a menu which achieves a similar thing which you, you can enable snap or not I mean what I do is I have a, a key command which I use which is s which enables and disables snap which is much faster and you'll notice if you see this padlock here that also indicates that snap is enabled so if you press s like i'm doing now it will enable and disable and you can also adjust where you're going to where you're going to snap to here so grids and bars is what you want and you can again from this right click can, you can access that menu i just used there's a couple of other things show grid that you can use from that menu which will obviously show the grid i have a key command for that which is g to enable disable so that's at the moment see I've got um, snap disabled so I press S and there it is re-enabled re again I press I and um, I can change the amount of resolution of the snap to say one quarter you can see it just moving along snapping at the quarter like that with regard to the the thing you were talking about not when you have loop disabled it still stops at the end of that range i'm not sure there's a way around that what i normally if that happens you just have to click in the arrange page or there and it will disappear i mean this is sort of useful if you're doing a bounce or something or a, a real-time bounce and you just want to do sort of a four bar mix to file obviously if you had loop enabled it would keep going back and forth and if you disable loop I'm going to make it two bars to do it quicker. And you're doing a bounce to file, or mix to file. Obviously, it just stops at the end. A few other things useful to know. You double click there, you see, and you can um, enable, disable the loop. That, or you can use um, shift back on the keyboard. So when you've got a loop disabled, and you hit shift back, the loop re-enables itself. Um, and also you can use the arrow keys to go the left arrow right arrow yeah uh, I use shift and uh, right arrow to move the um, the right hand side of the range like that you see so that's shift right arrow shift left arrow um, then just left arrow right arrow so that's sort of handy for navigating around it's worth um, with regard to using loops it's worth looking at that other tutorial I did which was to do using the range manager where you can define different ranges in this list here and quickly choose between them so you can have several ranges or loops as people call them and choose those quickly move between them but basically the important thing when working with snap is to make sure you've got that setup I told you about and make sure you've got the snap enabled either there on the um, the transport bar or using the key command I mentioned because if you don't do that you won't get any snapping so anyway I hope that is of uh, help to you cheers for now